Good evening class, today I will be discussing the sheep dissection for course 4353, which is physiological psychology. I have already went ahead and dissected uh, the sheep brain into sagittal form. I will be um, pinpointing with the parasigital, um, parasigital portion of the brain so that I can talk about the different portions of the brain. So first we will be talking about the spinal cord. Which is located right here. The spinal cord's function is for electrochemical communication, mainly used for sending signals throughout the body through the brain. Next, we have the arbor vitae. The arbor vitae's function is it is made out of white matter that transmits information throughout the body. Next, we have the cerebellum. The cerebellum's objective is to coordinate the voluntary movements. Next, we have the Occipital lobe. The occipital, occipital lobe's function is to send signal from primary visual cortex to the visual associative cortex. This helps with analyzing the visual information observed and retained as visual memories. Next, we have the parietal lobe. The parietal lobe's objective is to deal with sensory information such as temperature, taste, sensations related to touch. Next, we have the frontal lobe. The frontal lobe's objective is to the frontal lobe's objective is to be in charge of controlling emotions, self-control, movement, language, and rational thought. Next, we have the medulla oblongata. The medulla oblongata's objective is to help maintain blood pressure and heart rate is normal. An example of this would be the per pyramidal decussation where crisscrossing of the brain's body control occurs. So let's say the left side of the brain controls the right side of the body and the right side of the brain controls the left side of the body. Next we have the optic nerve. The optic nerve's objective is the it is the main connection cell system between the brain and the eyes enabling vision color detection, and proper balance. This helps with preventing falling and bumping into objects and acquiring food. Next, we have the pituitary gland. The pituitary gland's objective is to serve as a bridge between the medulla and upper brainstem. It also relays information between the cerebellum and the cerebrum. Next, we have the inferior curriculus, which is the um, auditory pathway. So it involves for hearing. Next, we have the fornix. The fornix is in charge of transferring information to the hippocampus from the olfactory functions. Next, we have the hippocampus and is responsible for processing long-term memory and emotional response. Next, we have the thalamus, which is in charge of receiving messages from nerve axons and transmitting them to appropriate parts of the brain. Then we have the cerebral peduncle, which is in charge of conducting impulses and the development of reflex acts. Next, we have the pons varioli, which is a component of the brain stem that forms a bridge between the midbrain and the medulla oblongata. And with that, we have completed the sheep dissection for course 4353 with 15 different structures of the brain.